In this lesson, I'm going to be using the drone to give us a bird's eye view to show us the consequences of starting a fly cast with slack in it. Here I am using the four foot practice rod and I want you to focus on the red bit at the end. The very end of that red bit is where our fly would be. And here I am just trying to put a straight line out. Now the flag illustrates exactly where the fly would be. And the point of fly casting is to start moving that fly around. There we are again, the flag, but this time we've got a dotted line. You see that the dotted line was quite far in front of me. Do it again. There's the flag that represents our fly and the dotted line is very far in front of me. Now I've put some slack in the line. Now look how far the rod goes back. It's much further back. Do it again. There's some slack in the line. Watch how far the rod goes back this time before the fly starts moving. There we go. The flag represents the fly. The rod is even behind me before that fly starts moving. Let's do it again. There's the slack in it. We're moving the rod back. And look, it's parallel to my toes before the fly starts moving. There's a big curve cast. The rod tip is all the way back parallel with my ankles now before the fly starts even moving. There's a load of slack, a puddle cast right in front of my feet. The rod is behind me before the fly starts moving. A fundamental rule of all fly casts, and that is we have to remove all slack. 